Hanging out at Beach Roamer Custom Truck Campers here in Tom's River, New Jersey. Got Vicky and Michelle back on the channel. Today they're gonna to give us a tour of their newest creation. Hello and welcome back to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. Hi Patrick, thank you so much for having us back on the channel. My name is Michelle Harishko. I am co-owner of Beach Roamer Custom Truck Campers. And I'm Vicki Liston and I'm a co-owner of Beach Roamer Custom Truck Campers and we are so happy to be back with you, Patrick. Thanks for having us. So we're gonna start here today. I just wanna go over a little bit what makes us different. Okay, our goal is to make you off grid. We want you to be able to roam freely and do what you want to do without ever plugging in. How this camper is different is it goes all the way down from our composite panels, which have an R4 rating. Also, we have aluminum ends. It's not plastic, it's not small. It's just a solid built camper. Additionally, this thing will run fully off solar. When you're in between your trips, you leave your refrigerator on, just leave it on. It has enough power to keep that refrigerator running. You don't repack it, just go. This camper here um, has 600 watts of solar on top and it has 200 amp hours of battery and everything is fully expandable, which means if you decide you need more power, there's enough to put 200 watts solar additional on this without any wiring changes or anything additional. And there's room to add more amp hour of batteries. This unit here is for 2,500 or larger truck with at least an eight foot bed. Main cabin is 10 feet long and it weighs about 2,200 pounds. And the interior height on this unit is six and a half feet in height. As I said, it's all composite panels. And from here, I just want to go over it and take over with Vicki a little, go over a little construction. All right, thanks Michelle. Welcome to my office. So as Michelle mentioned, we use uh, composite fiberglass panels, which are incredibly lightweight. They also have an R4 factory, so they're insanely well insulated. And on the outside, we have a, uh, a soft gray gel coat, uh, marine grade, and the inside is a uh, glossy white. And so, what we did is we have custom extrusions that we have uh, a mold created for. We have a patent pending on, on both designs. Um, so we use aerospace grade aluminum. As you can see, we have an exoskeleton uh, for extra security and also protection and um, durability. But they're still really, really lightweight. And then the panels are assembled using these extrusions that we actually put adhesive. It's an adhesive weld on the inside and then the panel interlocks into each side like so. And then once that adhesive weld sets, it's, it's virtually impossible to pull it apart. And then we also use a uh, silicone seal around the perimeter of it as well, just for extra water protection. Okay, so I'm going to take you around the unit a little bit more uh, from where we left off. Uh, we went into, uh, we always had this, everybody loves this. You can upload your kitchenware from the inside and the outside of the unit. So when you go shopping, just throw it on in. It's real quick, uh, fresh and city water, 30 amp, and the rare occasion you might go to a campground. Fagati hot water heater. We use uh, Happy Jacks, uh, electric jacks with the motor, fully automatic. You just push a button, up they go. Here's our uh, aluminum extrusion going along the side with tight cuts. Uh, this is our front window, which secondly acts as an emergency exit for you to get out in the case of an emergency. Over here, we have our cabinet for fishing poles. It goes from the inside and the outside. Oops, sorry, it rained last night. Uh, outdoor TV mount with both a US, the regular outlet and a USB. Here we have a little bit more storage for you from the outside. And also our doors are insulated. It's coming around, we have an additional storage up here and we use heavy duty strong anchor bolts that are from the inside plates and outside to tie your truck down. Back here we have our sewer pulls. And this is the diesel tank. This particular unit right here uses a diesel heater. So we have additional diesel storage right here. Uh, this unit, because it is 10 foot, it comes over the bed more than six inches. It has its own lights. Um, smaller units do not need to have exterior lights, but this one does. And our shower, it's all ready for you to take a quick shower before you jump into your unit. And here we have the, the handrail to come in. This to open it up. Clip it right here. And then Vicki will take you through the inside. Alrighty, let me first show you our screen door. 
We have a full screen, which is great to let the fresh air in. And then this door is also available in a clear uh, glass with the privacy screen if you prefer to have a more open. All right, so come on inside. Welcome, welcome. Here in the main cabin, which as Michelle mentioned, it's actually 10 feet long. It still fits an eight foot bed that could be a 250 or a 2500. You don't need dualies with our, our beach roamers. They're built with such lightweight material that you don't have the restriction of, oh my gosh, this thing weighs 3,000 pounds. Um, so we also have a, a full wet bath, larger refrigerator, and then a queen size bed sleeping area in the, um, in the cab over. All right, so come on in. Uh, we love bamboo, but this is all custom as well. This is um, a solid bamboo countertop, stainless steel sink, and uh, as you may have seen in previous uh, episodes, we go with all residential quality. So this is actually the one that has the insulation, insulating factor so you don't hear the clinking. This is our tower of power. So you've got your USBs and additional outlets, but when you don't need it, you just tuck it away. Space is always uh, something that we're, we're keeping top of mind. And then our cooktop here, this, this uh, unit, our client wanted a three burner, and we have our, um, with a glass top, so he can actually put things on top of that as well. And then under here we have custom doors made. So you have storage all throughout this bottom part here. And then uh, access panels, uh, just in case you need to get to anything, we have that as well. Um, the full, the space is all marine grade gel coat, so it's it's really smooth, easy to keep clean, no wallpaper. We hate the typical wallpaper you find in an RV. So over here we have our DC power TV, so you can watch TV completely off grid. We come to the controls for the Fugati tankless hot water heater. Moving down we have the lights, or the blue lights, or the white lights rather. Uh, the water heater, a little mesh for all of your different controls, the remote control for the fans, the TV. And here we, we believe that heat should be distributed evenly. So you'll see we have two heat, heat vents. One can point down, one can point up. We also have a heat vent in the bathroom, the cab over, as well as the basement. Uh, here, this is a fan that we absolutely love because it's conserved space, but it's really powerful. And that's for your range top exhaust. And you'll see all the lights are LED powered. Then coming over here, great to leave little messages for the people you're traveling with. Uh, we have storage up top here, lagoon uh, table with a bamboo countertop. These are all custom, whatever size material you want. And then here, in case you have you know, other people staying over, this pulls out to be a, a bed, which it's amazing. It's almost six feet long and 34 inches wide. And then these cushions all come down. And very easy to pull it out and just pop it back in. Under here, we have storage but it's accessible from outside. Our client is a big fisherman. He loves to surf fish. So we made a special compartment for him to put his tackle box, uh, accessible from the outside only. And again, more storage up here. Our fans are all remote, temperature controlled, more windows. And I'm moving along here. We, we got a lot of feedback from uh, clients that they wanted a larger refrigerator. So we have now advanced to an upgraded larger refrigerator. And on the outside of the unit, there's also uh, DC outlets. So you can, if you have a portable refrigerator, say like a Dometic cooler or whatever, you can plug those on the outside as well. More and more USB outlets than you'll ever need. And here we have the, the control panel for the um, fuses, our carbon monoxide smoke detector, another 20 amp outlet in case you want to plug in a portable air conditioner or anything else. The flooring is a uh, residential grade with lifetime warranty interlocking. We have about eight or nine different samples to pick from depending on your preference. Same thing with the cushions and the countertop, etc. Well, coming into the bathroom, we have different options for, for privacy and for doors. We either have you know, a simple shower curtain, which is really easy, or we have a rolling shower door. It um, expands and just contracts uh, whatever, people, whatever people want because we're totally custom. Um, again, the same composite waterproof panels, even our, our um, cabinet for the heat vent is made out of Azac, which is actually exterior grade. Um, we have a fan for ventilation, another LED light that actually changes tones and is also dimmable. Stainless steel shower, stainless steel sink, 
an access panel in case you ever need to get underneath there, and then a uh, toilet with a black tank. The black tank on this unit is 11 gallons. We also offer um, composite or composting toilets, wrap-on toilets, uh, cassette-style toilets. So it's really whatever preference people have in terms of the bathroom amenities. In terms of water storage, this unit has a 22-gallon freshwater tank, an 18-gallon gray water tank, and an 11-gallon black tank. Um, it's very simple to drain the tanks. We have separate poles at the rear of the camper. Coming into the bedroom, we have our LED lights, white, blue, and then come on up in here. We have storage on either side with our lift up cabinets and we also have mesh storage over here. And again, another ventilating fan. And Michelle mentioned that that is a, a wonderful window for looking out and also getting cross ventilation, but it also serves as your emergency exit. We believe that safety is, is, has to come first. So if you're ever in a situation you need to get out, I know personally, I don't want to be going up through the roof. I don't even want to go through a little van. So we go right through the uh, emergency exit window. Uh, the bedding that we use is a five to six inch, depending on your preference, um, uh, memory foam mattress. It's not the kind of mattress that's just like a cot. It's really, really comfortable. And it's also a queen size bed. And also at the head of the bed, we have USB ports. So you can plug in your phone and charge it overnight. Or if you have a CPAP machine, you can plug that right in. And as you come out again, uh, for this client, we've built a, a closet that's gonna have a hanging rod going across the top and then some additional storage on the bottom. We have storage on top and uh, above the refrigerator as well. So I'm gonna take you a little bit through what we have in this as far as the solar and, and show you what we have going on underneath the step. Just remove this step very quickly. So right here is our battery box. This client chose to have 200 amp hours lithium battery power and a Renergy Rover 60 amp charge controller. Um, for everybody out there, we do have inverter options and we also have air conditioner options. Thanks so much for joining us on our tour here. Thank you, Patrick, for having us on your show again. It's been an absolute delight to be with you. Uh, if you want to learn more about us, please visit us at or come see us in Toms River, New Jersey. Patrick's also going to post some of our social, uh, social links at the bottom of his site. And now for price, um, because they're totally custom, there's not an exact price that I can give you. Um, the small ones generally run around 40,000 and the larger ones are generally around 50,000. And we are now moving into flatbeds, which we're so excited about because we're one of the few hard-sided campers that can actually go on an aluminum tray flatbed because of our, our light weight. So those are starting around 55,000. But again, come see us, uh, check us out at beachover.com. Always a pleasure to have you on the channel. I love how far you guys progress. The innovation, the patents, the design, the production facility you have. Now you're getting into flatbeds. I can't wait to have you on the channel again. Liz Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, great to see Thanks. you again.